you know, the, I, I think one of the biggest tragedies a coach can make is if you, you run a system so rigidly that you're asking a player who has a good skill set and something else to do something he's not very good at. I don't think that's fair or uh, very effective. Structuring your offense. Okay, uh, going from there, I'm, I started on a macro scale and I'm going to kind of wean this down uh, step by step. But to me, is you want to be able to run and pass from each personnel group and each formation. To me, is if you can get into a, a formation or you carry a personnel group that you are going to have the ability to be balanced in, that makes you extremely difficult to defend. Do you have runs and passes for each situation? Go back and review the previous season. Out of all of the internal stuff that we run for analysis, that is the thing I learn the most of each year. And, I, and, and again, I'll show you this exactly how we did it, and I'll show you in my first year, we went two and nine, as the head coach here, we went two and nine in the regular season. Uh, this past fall, we went 10 and one in year two, and I'll show you uh, quantifiable data as to how I knew that uh, when, from the re previous season review, how we're so much better in, as a result of that. But you need to find out how many first and tens are you running? How many times are you in the red zone? How many times are you in the goal line? How many third and shorts do you have? And I, I promise you these numbers surprise the heck out of you every single year. Uh, so making sure that you're one, carrying enough stuff, and two, not carrying too much. Make sure that you carry complimentary plays. I would tell you to go through and look at your first two days of fall camp installation. Those are the things that you're gonna run. If you're playing for a conference championship at the end of the year, and it's every critical scenario, you're gonna be running something from those two first days of install that you believe in because that's the stuff that you're comfortable with and your kids have the most reps with. So finding out what those things are and then what, you know, how people are going to defend those so you have complimentary things to put guys in a tough spot. And then the other thing is I think keeping everything as simple as possible. I just read, uh, read an interview with the head coach at Oregon who said just because your play call has more words doesn't mean it's a better play call than mine. I think that's just a, such a simple way to say that. But we, we really believe in this. We want to keep everything as clean and as simple as possible in these categories. We want the way we teach it conceptually, the terms that we use on offense, most of our coaching points are one or two words long. Defensive recognition, uh, how we teach stuff to, to the quarterbacks and, and, and to the linemen. Uh, you know, uh, most people are shocked when they find out that my linemen in our system, they never, ever, ever hear us talk about a front. We, uh, we do everything concept based and our quarterbacks never learn what coverages are. So my quarterbacks will go through four years in our program and uh, never hear you know, quarter, quarter, half, or, or anything like that. They just know the difference between zone and man, and we give them really simple, easy things to look for. But the way you, your play families, your coaching points, and all your rules and assignments, we want everything to be really clean, really concise, uh, and simple for our guys.